I found myself in a similar place in a third set, uh, having to save two match points in a row and then a third one. But you know, I just stepped up to the line and um, believed in my serve. She said that you had some great serve, but you didn't really give her a chance on those match points. Can you talk about what you were trying to do with your serve? I just believed in my serve. That's what I did. <laughs> and it worked. Was the, was the wind a problem with the toss? Because it seemed like both of you were, you toss and then stop. It was was quite, the wind carrying it at all? It was quite windy and um, gusty winds especially, so sometimes it got carried away. <laughs> um, and, you know, that's what happens. You try to adjust, but it doesn't always work. When I looked on the website, it said you had won a match here in five years. Seven, actually. Was it seven? Uh -huh. <laughs> so what, what's changed and what's changed this year? To, and what were your expectations coming in? Yeah. Well, I had a tough start to the season, um, losing three close three setters in a row, even though my preseason was good and we were we had the feeling we were doing the right things off the court, working hard, and somehow it didn't pay off yet, but we kept working. I have a great team behind me and um, they kept telling me that I'm doing the right things and uh, that they believed it will pay off. And, you know, now it's it's nice to see that it's starting to pay off finally. But this is not a likely play for the payoff considering your history. Is there something that changed with uh, how you're playing here? Well, I think in the past I had problems um, adjusting to the conditions here. Um, they are very different um, also during the day, depending on the time of the day. Um, the ball flies during the day way more than in the afternoon and in the evening it's completely different again when it's dark. So um, I think I wasn't able to adjust well um, back then and I think now I also believe more in my game not that I can only play well at Wimbledon, um, but do the things um, at different tournaments too. How much did the energy ramp up toward the end when they let the, the night session crowd in and, and the place started to fill up? Well, it's always uh, great to play in front of a full crowd. That's what I train for. It's the, the best thing that can happen. You know, it's uh, I love that kind of... Um, you know, crowd and full stadium, it's its just an amazing feeling. And I think we had some amazing rallies and um, one particular one at five all got me fired up and um, I just kept going from there. Uh, I have nothing to say about that yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes, she does, but she had a short one today. That's the only thing I saw. <laughs> you start entertaining the thought about winning this tournament. You're so close right now. And I'm just happy that I won today. <laughs> <laughs> you hadn't played Flavia before. How how much of a feeling out process is there when you're you're playing somebody that you haven't seen across the net? Does it take like a game or two or three to to sort of get a sense of what she's got and what you do to counter it? Yeah, of course. But also knowing that she's won here the last year, um, you know that someone feels comfortable. So you're ready for whatever comes. And um, I was ready for the match. I was ready for a fight and. I'm very happy how it ended.